I've been looking forward to this for so long. And so I was like, oh my God, I can't wait to play live again. I can't wait to put this show together. So like the instant I turned in the album, I was like, let's start making the live versions. You know, I had this idea in my head that I wasn't gonna mess with the songs that much. I was envisioning this show as being more of a, just a way of showcasing the songs as they are, as a way of just kind of being like, this is my discography, here it is. I started messing with the songs more than I thought I would allow myself to. With a song like Get Your Wish, I approached it like, okay, I'm just gonna write a new intro for this. Just a new intro, just to, you know, just so people will wonder what the song is and it ends up being this like complete reprise of the song in a lot of ways. That's how creativity can be too, where you have this idea in your head of what you want it to be, but your heart has its own intentions completely. You know, it's such a cliche, but I always try to follow my, my gut, heart, however you want to call it, the thing that I'm, I'm wanting without thinking, because that's usually the right thing. I'm just trying to follow that in intuition. Something that always happens with all my projects, I tend to write the best stuff when I think I'm done. So like I'll turn in the album, it's like pressure's off and I'm like, okay, cool. And so the next time I go to sit down and make music, it's like zero pressure. And then that's always the last single that I have to scramble to get on the album. And I think with this one, it was a, it was a musician. That was something that sort of came together in that last year. And it really, to me, puts a kind of ribbon on the album. Nurture, I feel, is all about trying to find meaning in what I'm doing and figuring out, you know, is it worth it? And am I helping? And all these questions. And then musician is like, yeah, this is worth it. Like, this is what I'm living for. When you turn what you're doing creatively into work, perhaps the most difficult job of all is trying to forget that it's work and to get back in that state of just pure exploration and creativity and fun. You know, this album is, is in a lot of places about how hard it is to get there. I don't care about proving anything. I don't care about proving I'm not a DJ or whatever, I'm not EDM or all these various concerns that are sometimes floating around in my mind. It's like, I just want this show to be the thing that I wanna go see right now. My gut was screaming like, I wanna kind of party a little bit. I still want to respect these songs and, and uh, showcase them as meaningfully as possible, but you have to have some moments where it's a celebration. Because a lot of times that's what performance is. It's like a celebration of, of music, a celebration of life. The thing that I value so much about this team is that we have these incredible artists and individuals who have a sense of ownership over what they produce for the show everyone wants to bring their A game. And like, that's the thing that is completely priceless. It's not even about technical ability at that point, it's about care. And it's about concern for how the final product will turn out. My favorite part isn't actually the show, it's being here with all the crew and everyone being creative together and, and putting together like what it's gonna be. A lot of my role is to take a lot of the sounds on the album and figure out ways to make it so they can be performed on a keyboard or a drum pad. We developed some cool custom MIDI controller hardware that will let him control a pretty complex system to make these sounds in a really performable way for him. Something we've talked about on other shows is like creating a visual language for the show, coming up with the pieces that eventually become the base of the show. Those things kind of happen over time. They might start as one thing, but then they'll get kind of reworked and remixed by a bunch of different artists, and then they kind of like settle into different looks that can really set the tone. Having him on stage and having a sense of scale, and his movements and his body language, yeah. all that feeds back into newer ideas. The show looks so much better with him on the stage. Seeing him in the mix with the visuals and the lighting, I think is, is also a really nice time to add those icing on the cake moments. Yeah. I'm just so proud of the team that I get to be a part of and I love them all and everyone's doing their best and, and caring so hard about the, the result and I think that's why these shows come together the way that they do. It is a big part of the meaning of my life is getting to put these things together. So I'm just so grateful.